Hello! I'm here with another video and got on my um, Not All Those Who Wonder Lost Tea. I'm feeling cozy today, having a packing day, which leads me to this video. We are headed to Ireland. So I thought I would do a What's in My Travel Bag video. I've done a blog post as well that's a bit more in depth. Um, and has a free downloadable PDF um, travel bag packing guide, I guess, um, or checklist, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I thought I would show you what I've got going on. So generally, I would take a wheelie suitcase, <clears throat> which I've got this one here. wheelie suitcase. Uh, it does need replaced, unfortunately, because it does have a nice um, hole in it. Yeah, you know. Airlines aren't very gentle with your bags. But I usually bring a wheelie suitcase and a backpack with a small purse. The small purse that I can then put in the backpack if they ask me to not be carrying three bags. Usually I get away with doing that and it's not a problem. There is always room in my backpack to stick my purse in there if I need to, but I carry it separate just so I can have stuff that's easy access in my little purse and then stuff that I won't need until I'm on the plane in the other things. The green suitcase, I generally try to not get into at all, except for maybe in the airports, um, but not on the plane. But with that being said, <laughs> my plans for this flight is, they're a bit different than normal, so I may need to um, get into it during the flight, but we'll see. This time I am flying with my husband, obviously, so um, this packing guide essential business is a bit different because we are packing together. We're only taking one checked bag and then um, a camera bag, this rolly suitcase, he's bringing a backpack, a little backpack personal item, and then my purse. So it's a little bit different than usual, but I figured I'd show you anyway. So let's get into it. Okay, um, we did that fun little video. Brady is amazing. He shot that he's amazing. You should give the video a thumbs up just for his little intro because it's phenomenal and he's awesome. Um, so anyway, as you have seen, these bags are currently packed because that has already been filmed. Um, things will be adjusted and change before we leave because I do that. So <laughs> yeah, it happens, but I will show you what I've got. I'm obsessed with my new purse. I love it so much. It was a birthday gift from Brady. Granted, he was like, hey, by the way, I bought you this. Don't go buy it for yourself because I know you will because I wanted it really bad. So this is my purse. I will try and make sure and link to that because it's amazing. Um, it's Ivy and Fig. It is faux leather. No animals were harmed. Um, but anyway, yeah, part of, part of it is because I wanted to carry this bag. Um, I will bring a smaller wallet, I guess, a wallet, yeah, um, that I can transfer so I don't have to bring my purse everywhere, um, but it is currently um, in the other room and hasn't made it in here yet. Anyway, anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get into it. First, um, and this is probably not in any sort of significant order, but these are just kind of my, you've got to have these items. <laughs> and so yeah, first is a change of clothes. So I have a change of clothes for myself, yay! Um, and, I, and, an a, <laughs> and an additional jacket for this change of clothes, which is a bit unnecessary, but there was room in the bag, so I figured might as well. So that's what this is. I also have a change of clothes for Brady. Yay! Um, when we went to New Zealand on our honeymoon, his bag got lost. There have been many times that I've been flying that my bag has gotten lost. If you are watching this, 
and you've never flown before and this is you legitimately need a guide as somewhere to start don't panic it doesn't happen to everybody and it doesn't happen every time but sometimes bags get misplaced they don't end up on the correct flight um, maybe you have a really short connection and so your bag doesn't make it on your connecting flight um, when you do there are tons of things don't panic don't panic but it does happen so I always suggest having a change of clothes in your carry-on in case it happens to you um, most of the time the bag is there within 48 hours of you getting arriving at your destination and it's not a big deal um, however that's not always the case anyway okay change of clothes need it okay a few other things that are musts are going to be medication um, whether you have medication prescription medicine that you need to take especially if it's a long-haul flight and um, therefore you're gonna have to be taking your medicine on during your flight or um, maybe you can take it at an airport in between flights I would always suggest to have it in your carry-on bag along with any medicine that you might need I would suggest having some sort of pain reliever my go-to is Excedrin migraine because I am migraine prone as you will have learned in my last video which is so horrible looking at now I should have just refilmed it because I'm sorry I just am not very functioning with headaches anyway so some sort of pain reliever um, you might get a headache I a lot of times people with the pressure change on airplanes and that sort of thing um, get achy joints or their head hurts or um, sometimes sitting in that cramped position ankles and knees start getting and hips start getting painful anyway pain reliever I take Excedrin migraine because I'm prone to migraines um, Brady I believe prefers ibuprofen I think anyway so that um, along with that I would say to also bring vitamin C or some sort of vitamin C immune boosting thing some people prefer airborne um, or the little vitamin C um, sachet packets that have powder in them um, some people prefer taking vitamin C pills that's what we do um, and I happen to have some right here <laughs> we take vitamin C these are a thousand milligram supplements immune health immune boosting basically um, so I suggest vitamin C because airplanes are cramped it's a lot of people in a small amount of area and on planes there's no income of fresh fresh air you are just all in there stuffed in together and people are sick um, and people are coughing and they're sneezing and then airports are germy and you're touching stuff and everybody else is touching stuff and I'm pretty sure I'm the only person in the world who sanitizes anything I know that's not true but it seems like it so <laughs> take vitamin C you don't want to come in contact with the sneezing person next to you and then get to your destination and end up sick and then you're sick for your whole trip take vitamin C sorry I'm getting a little preachy <laughs> um, so yeah vitamin C another suggestion and this one I don't always do um, I honestly haven't really done it at all um, except for now being married to Brady because his allergies are worse than mine but my suggestion is to bring allergy medicine as well you never know if you're gonna be sitting next to somebody who has lots of pets and you're allergic to cats and then it's messing with you because you're allergic to cats and they have cats next I would say just to have your vitamins um, that um, if you take any that sort of thing also melatonin if it is a long-haul flight melatonin is really good to take to help you sleep on the airplane and that can help you adjust to um, get over jet lag basically the next 
items are not in this bag. They are in my purse. Passports! Yay! If you're going anywhere international, you can't go without these. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. So, passports and identification. You need those items. Don't forget them. Next is money. You know, if you're taking, whether that's cash in a foreign currency that you've already gotten switched over, which I suggest to do beforehand because it can be expensive not beforehand <laughs> um, or that's credit cards or your bank cards whatever that is don't forget to have money or access to money and make sure and let your bank and your um, credit cards know that you'll be traveling and where you'll be and when so um, they can make sure and not fraud your account and then you it's frozen and you can't use it and also so they know um, if there are any weird place charges happening so yeah I don't have my list that I made with me, and I think that's all of the must, but I could be wrong. Um, so continuing on to other items, a jacket. Whether you're going somewhere warm or somewhere cold, take a jacket. I find that airplanes um, are generally really cold. Sometimes they're hot, but generally really cold. Airports are freezing also. <laughs> so uh, take a jacket even if you're going to somewhere really warm and sunny. Bring a jacket. Another thing is if you are going, which I don't have because I'm going to Ireland, but if you are going somewhere warm, like a beach, take a swimsuit in your carry-on as well. Again, if your items get lost, your, suit, your suitcase gets lost, at least you'll have a swimsuit. So if you're headed to the beach, you may not have any clothes, but you've got your suit so you can lay on the beach. Um, or if you followed my other suggestion, then you've got at least one change of clothes. So headphones, um, these are some big nice ones that I'm going to try. Earbuds don't really work for me, so I'm gonna try these over ear ones this time. They're new, I got them for Christmas. Um, and so yeah, headphones, remember they have to have a normal um, headphone jack sound jack because airplanes with their little plugs um, only have that kind of plug. So make sure that you have a plug that fits into that. I am going to bring face wipes. Um, these are just a nighttime soothing off brand makeup remover towelettes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring these this time. Probably only going to pull out a few and put in a baggie to carry on and then pack this in my checked bag but um yeah I'm gonna bring some of those so I can remove my makeup during the flight I also haven't decided what makeup bag to bring I mean I really only have one but it's big and it's too big I don't want to bring that big of a bag so I haven't quite sorted that out but right now I have just this little plastic baggie of liquid items which is mainly makeup and then also moisturizer um, and then some brushes and two different types of moisturizer <laughs> mascara that sort of thing um toothbrush toothpaste as well just some people don't but i like to take my makeup off and then reapply makeup when i'm doing long stints of traveling um so yeah that's just something I suggest. Another thing that I think would be fun, um, I have never used ever, and I so I've obviously never taken them on a plane, but I've just seen other people do it, um, are the under eye patches. So I feel like that would be something um, really nice and refreshing to do on a plane. Um, maybe just before you go to bed or in the morning when you wake up on the flight, um, you know, a bit before landing. Anyway, just a thought, not anything I have or have ever done. I find that hot tamales are a must. Hot tamales are always a must. They're amazing. I also always bring a book. The book I've chosen for this trip, um, which you can't tell because I've taken the cover off, yeah, is um, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Um, it is hardback. I generally take a softback, but... I have had this book a while now and I have been dying to read it and Brady is always getting on to me because 
I'm constantly wanting to buy more books and he's like, I bought you a book for your birthday last year and you still haven't read it. I actually think it was Christmas. So, yeah. I'm reading it. <laughs> I will also have, I have Audible, so I will also have some um, books on there. I've got um, the first and second Lord of the Rings downloaded. Yes, I realize that I have read those a million times. Not actually, but almost. And so I don't need to read them again, <laughs> but I like them and they're good, good reads. So I have those. Um, and then the book that Brady and I are currently reading, which we will probably finish on this trip, um, is called Where's the Next Shelter? Um, it's by Gary. Gary something. Anyway, it is an amazing book. It's about the Appalachian Trail and his journey on the Appalachian Trail. So obviously not for everybody, but we are loving it. I also like to bring a journal. So I have this one. It was a Christmas gift um, from Anna. Thank you, Anna. Um, and I am so excited to use it. I like to jot down travels, places we eat, places we go, my thoughts on it basically do a big travel journal type thing, which is what I plan to do in here. I will be bringing my computer, which is currently sitting at my desk, um, and I've been working on it, so I don't have it over here, but I will be bringing that. So I will bring my computer, my computer charger. Obviously, don't forget the chargers. That's, that's it. Um, phone charger and your phone are the other musts. You got to bring both of those. If something happens, a connecting flight is canceled or delayed, um, you've you got to be able to contact people. <laughs> Those are definite need-to-haves. Got a couple of pens, extra pens, more snacks. Airports, airplanes, all the stuff you're touching. They feed you. You eat in the airport. Have Germex. Do yourself a favor and have Germex. Another must, gum. I, as you have realized with the hot tamales, love cinnamon things. <laughs> so, we always have cinnamon gum. Brady likes cinnamon as well. I think that about covers it. Um, something else that I will have um, is this camera that I'm currently filming on. It is my little Canon G7X Mark II vlogging camera. I will have it in my purse as well for easy access to pull out, snap, pictures, video, anything like that. Don't forget your charging cables. Oh, um, in this situation, I would also say to have a plug converter. I don't know if you can see that, but um, I have a really big, extensive, fancy voltage converting plug converter thing with lots of plugs on it, which we will be bringing. It's gonna be packed in the big suitcase though. Um, so I suggest having a plug converter in case it get, your bag gets lost and then you can still convert and not have to buy one of these in the airport because buying anything in the airport is expensive. So you don't want to have to buy a new phone charger and you don't want to have to buy plug converters in the airport. So come prepared. I think that's everything. I think that's all of it. I hope this helped. I hope I wasn't too rambly because I was definitely really rambly. There is my little what's in my travel bag carry on bags guide. <laughs> Again, I do did write a post about this. You can link to it. It's down in the description box. And in that post, I have um, added a free downloadable packing list that you can like check off the little boxes and all of that. Um, I really enjoy making packing lists. So I made a pretty one <laughs> and you can download it for free and use it. Please give the video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. That would be amazing. And subscribe down below. It's free. I will see you next time.